Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Guess what happened? I, being the smart person that I am, did not know, or stupid, smart, stupid, whatever, doesn't matter. I did not know that when you exit out from here in the uh, Ghostbusters house, the firehouse, I did not know that when you do that, you have to be careful because there was no save. And you know what happened? It started me at the next mission without all this cutscene and stuff that we need to happen. So there I figured out that that didn't work. So what I had to do was replay the last part of the last mission, which was killing of Stay Puffed, which I did, and it happened. So yippee doo da Second, uh, I found out that I missed one of the artifacts in the hotel when I figured that out. So I don't know where that went. I'm going to have to figure that out on my own time. And I'll probably record a little piece to put into the next video, set of videos. Uh, so, what we're going to do now, we're going to check the messages after we go downstairs. No, wait, no, because if I come back up those stairs. Alright, we're going to check the messages now. E. We're, we're going to check the messages now. We have no messages. Okay, never mind. We're not going to check the messages now. Instead, we're going to slide down this pole. We're going to come down here. Hello, Janine. We're going to go talk to Vigo a little bit. Bow to your master. Blow me. Who's that, Janine? Ghostbusters, what do you want? I am a Ghostbuster. We can schedule a visit um, next Thursday, sometime between 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. I'm afraid that's the soonest opening we have. All right, I've got you down for then. Oh, it won't be necessary to call before they arrive. Believe me, you'll know it. <laughs> That'll be fine. Goodbye. Thank you, Ghostbusters, from Mr. Sosa, second grade elementary, second grade class, New York Mid Elementary School. Yay. Alright. Oh, wait, there's, like, posters and stuff up here. Saved. Eh, with actual pictures, too. Oh, look, there's a little, there's a Winston little picture, and there's, oh, look at this, look at this. This is cool, I like this. Some uh, other stuff. Vigo painting melted. What's it doing over there? Alright. Shut up. Stupid phone. Alright. No, uh, no. We're going down here. For the specific purpose of doing this. Oh, look at this. Watch, watch, watch. Ha ha This is one of my favorite uh, little things of the game. Ha ha! The trap is, or the light is green, the trap is clean. <laughs> I love coming down here and doing that after every mission. All right, now we're gonna run back upstairs, and we're going to go talk to Ms. Uh, whatever her name is, Alyssa. No, that's her real name. Um, Doctor something. Doesn't matter. We're gonna do that. There's gonna be cutscene. Then we'll get move on to the next mission, like we're supposed to. So you know so much about Gozer because because I'm a specialist in ancient Mesopotamian cultures and architecture, Sumerian primarily, Gozerian more specifically. I'm here as a guest curator for the Gozerian exhibit that's opening tomorrow at the Natural History Museum. You are aware that we also have some history with Gozer. Yes, of course. Gozer was a bush leaguer before he met us. A strictly farm team deity. We put him on the map. But our getting stiffed on invites to opening night, just an oversight, right? I don't have anything to do with that. That, gentlemen, was all me. And I can assure you, it was not an oversight. Oh, by the way, you have visitors. Thanks, Janine. Your first class lookout. Walter Peck. 
I did not recognize you without the mayor's backside attached to your nose. <laughs> okay, everybody put them back in their skivvies. <laughs> Apologies. Uh, Dr. Selwyn, are you all right? I think so, but I'm worried about the exhibit. Are you kidding? You can't buy publicity like this. The guest curator of the Gozer exhibit, the expert Peck recommended, is attacked the night before the opening by Gozer himself. Please, tell me that was Gozer. Gozer manifested in a familiar form, one he had used before, the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, but this event was weaker than his first encounter with us. Ha! That's all I need. Thanks. Come on, Jock. What's the idea of bringing Peck around here? Oh, have I coughed at the wrong time? Listen, here's the deal. You and Peck and all you guys are going to work together. What? No way, no how. Impossible. Look, this city has given you at least a dozen contracts for the jails, courthouses, and wharves. You guys want to grow your business. Get some county and state work, too. I'm all for it. You've been big supporters and great for my campaign. Well, some have said our endorsement is what got you elected. But not out loud. Anyway, after all the damage you've been causing lately, the city council wants you under close supervision for a period of no less than six months. We file reports on time. There's no need for extra supervision. <laughs> Funny guy, Venkman. You've always been my favorite. Well, that's where your old friend Pet comes in. He's annoying, a stickler for the rules. In other words, the perfect Peck for the job. He's our new head of Peacock. Peacock? PCOC, Paranormal Contracts Oversight Commission. And my first official act is going to be suspending you clown's operating license. Lighten up, Peck. Launch your investigation if you have to, but for now just keep them under control and my office in the loop. But remember, if the Ghostbusters cease to exist, so does your job. So you need each other. Beautiful in an ironic, symmetrical kind of way, isn't it? Hey, Mulligan, come on. It's Mayor Mulligan to you, Bankman. So, we have an understanding? This kind of protects us all. You want more government business, I want to keep my approval rating, and Peck wants his little fiefdom. You play by the rules. Easy. We all get what we want, and the city council gets what they need. Okay, big night tomorrow, Alyssa. Get some rest. So, now that we're all friends, can we get invites to the museum opening? Not likely. But I'll be seeing you soon. You can count on that. Doesn't Peck look exactly like the kind of guy who'd accidentally walk into the stream of a bosun glider? I'm just saying, it, it could happen. Oh, am I back to me? Okay. God, I hate Peck. Alright, and now, during that little cutscene, I looked around and I found out which uh, artifact I missed. I missed it because it's hidden behind a ch couch that I'd completely forgotten was there. Oh, and now we have our answering machine, too. You have 13 new messages. Holy! Well, this is going to take the rest of the video. So, squeaking by, doing the bare minimum once again. What are you doing, pacing yourself? I'm sorry? Um, so I figure I'll do the rest of these for this video and then I'll go find that other artifact for that next video? That should be good, right? Oh, we'll find out. You have 12 new messages. Is this Ghostbusters? I'm trying to get some sleep over here, but it's non-stop with all the screaming and moaning and opera singing and things flying around, throwing rocks. Am I the only one in this city that has to get up for work tomorrow? Keep it down! Sure, pal. Sure. You have 11 new messages. Yes! Once you feed the ghost, I have blue one. It's nice. Want to keep it. Make two tricks. Maybe fetch vodka. It's okay, no? No. You have ten new messages. 
So last night I come back from getting a cup of coffee and find my truck upside down in the middle of Times Square. I know you're saving the city and all, but you think you could just take it a little easier? Jerk. You have nine new messages. Rennie Hanrahan with Comcorp Corp. Stay Puffed Marshmallows are one of the many high-quality products we make here at Comcorp. Frankly, we're outraged. You may have fooled the city with your little puppet show, but not us. This company has worked for over 75 years to cultivate the family-friendly image of Mr. Stay Puffed. He was modeled after somebody's uncle for crying out loud, and it wasn't all so you could go to war with him in downtown Manhattan. This is defamation of character on the grandest scale. You'll be hearing from us, Ghostbusters. Have a sunny, funny Comcorp Corp day. Comcorp Corp? What kind of a name is Comcorp Corp? Also, somebody's Eight uncle? Eight Poor guy. New messages. Yeah, I was wondering. Is it safe to eat all this marshmallow goop that's covering my balcony? No. As a follow-up question, what if I already did? Go see a doctor. Actually, come to you us. have seven new messages. Yeah, this is Chaim Rodriguez. I just wanted to thank you guys for breaking up my kid's bar mitzvah. That was great. Cost me over 50 grand for what? A busted up ballroom and a hotel manager that won't stop crying. Fantastic. It's all good. We just wait for my precious son to become a man for the second time. How does that sound? We'll just wait it out. Or, you know, he'll probably be getting married in eight years or so, so maybe you can come and destroy the wedding, too. Or, or, or maybe his son's bris. Uh, would you like to attend the blessed occasion with your lasers and your hollering? We look forward to it. Invitations will be in the mail. Well, excuse us. Did you want the ghost in there eating all your food and scaring all your guests instead? Then you'd have been complaining about that. Six new messages. Oh, man. I just saw you guys on TV. Man, that marshmallow dude was all like, blah, and blam. And you guys were like, all like, not in my city, zap and freow. And people were all like, ah. <laughs> oh man, you guys are awesome. So, like, how's it going? Great. It's going great. You have five new messages. Hello, this is Gray Hannert with Hannert and Hannert Attorneys at Law. I'm calling regarding the incident in which one of you opened fire on my client at the Cedric Hotel earlier this evening. It's really a shame. We've never seen such extensive soft tissue damage. Perhaps we can work something out. Call me back at your earliest convenience. You have four new messages. This is Bill at Trotter over at Deluxe Chocolates. I didn't suppose you guys would know if there was the possibility of you fighting a graham cracker monster in the near future. Okay, because if so, uh, perhaps we could work a deal where Stay Puffed could just be captured and uh, not destroyed. Thanks. No, no, that's not going to happen. Dr. Bankman, you know who. I think I somehow left a pair of earrings at your place. And my shoes. Maybe my cat. At a really great time. Call me. Damn, lady. <laughs> left without your shoes or your cat? What the hell did you bring your cat for? You have two new messages. Oh, good. This is going into the next video. Hey, Ghostbusters. Ron Frenmel out in sunny California. Do you guys have an agent yet? Hey, let me rephrase. I've been talking to the studios, and I sort of let it slip that I'm representing you. There's big interest in a summer tentpole out here. I am smell a bidding war. Give me a call. Nice. You have one new messages. Yeah, hi. My house keeps telling me to get out. You think it means permanently or just, like, for the weekend? 
Probably permanently. Okay. So, let's rewind. So it'll re race. No I know. Okay. So that's the end of that. Alright. Now we're in the next video.